All right, well, well, well. Hello, everybody. Zora Fat is here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream today. Yeager time should be fun. I think it will be. Thank thanks, Max. The last game I played in it, <laughs> I did like 7,000 damage. So, uh, yeah, Yeager memes. Hopefully, I can get some good games cooked up on stream. Uh, I believe the last time I showcased the YAG was before it received its tungsten shells and a variety of other minor changes. Needless to say, the YAG is a very popular tier 10 tank destroyer right now. Has a lot going for it, and uh, it's pretty silly that the tank has tungsten. Like, given a tank with 800 alpha damage tungsten, that's just that's just silly. But I don't mind, because it means your alpha is like 950 per shot when it's active. Think about it this way. All you have to do is activate your tungsten and hit like three shots and pin three shots in your YAG and you'll do like 2800, 2900 damage and that will already put you in like the top 5% of YAG players in the game. Just if you can consistently hit three tungsten shots in a row. Sadly, it looks like a lot of people don't, but hey, maybe today's stream will be helpful for that. Anyways, hello to everybody in chat. Hope you're doing well. I feel like I'm always missing the YAG. <laughs> I miss the Yeah, YAG's accuracy is kind of a meme. Hey, JP man. Yeah, another fan of stream. Let's go. Yes, yes. Hey, hey now, 79. Hey. Uh, Animan Agent, Wrench Jeff, Army Lover, Ominous, uh, AM, AM, AMP, I'm just going AMP, Mega Lion, Lewis, RC Nation, welcome, welcome to the stream, and hopefully everyone in chat is doing pretty good. Okay, so, Jaegeru, let's, let's discuss this rather appealing vehicle. Good frontal armor, for the most part, it is the same, basically, platform as the E100. The superstructure is slightly weaker than a E100's cheeks, if I remember correctly, but if, if you angle it correctly, you'll bounce most standard rounds, no problem, and even some premium rounds that don't exceed 340, 350 heat pen or so. Play near buzz. <laughs> hey, Doge, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Lots of armor. Also has a boatload of hit points. We're talking about 2,279 if you're running the HP equipment, which actually sometimes it might be worth running 4% strengthening, but I like the extra 130 hit points, so I'm going to run that personally. Um, what else does the Jaeger got going for it? Mobility is not the best, but it's a big chunky boy with a lot of armor. I don't think we expect this tank to be going... Um, 60 kilometers an hour. It does go 34, 12 in reverse. That's pretty standard for your German super heavy, kind of like E100 type tanks of EG-72, as you know. Uh, six degrees of gun depression, fairly usable. Fortunately, the tank is so tall that a lot of like smaller hills and stuff that could get in your way, you can actually just shoot over them. That's kind of the advantage of a tall tank. Uh, and it also means you can look down on vehicles like an IS-7 and have no problem penning them whatsoever. 680 alpha on the heat, 800 alpha on the AP, 4.2 aim time, yada yada yada. It's okay accuracy. You have 380 stock heat pens, so definitely consider running Rammer with almost 300 millimeters of standard pen. Like, that's kind of crazy. 85 on the HE, 3k DPM. So, it's DPM I think used to be higher back in the day, but they lowered it when they gave it tungsten. And it's, I mean, 3k DPM still kicks. It's, it still hits really, really hard. As for equipment, I mean, I'm just kind of running whatever. I don't even remember what's the optimal loadout, but basically this is what I have on the vehicle right now. You're very, very kind of standard equipment, standard provisions. And of course, the most important part is going to be your tungsten shells, which will increase your alpha damage for all it's active. I do like to pair that with adrenaline. It's a bit risky playing a tank with large track wheels with only a single repair kit, but I like to take that gamble. Sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. And I also prefer the consumable, high-end consumable system for the equipment. That makes the consumables last for 30% longer, which means sometimes you can get that extra shot out with the tungsten, which can be very nice. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's just jump into some battles. Hopefully have a good time. Vibe, you know the you know the drill. Hey, Helmy, how's it going? Thanks for playing. Thank you. Ye, always make your shots count, especially with the big boomstick. Indeed. <laughs> Funny admin, I think. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Hey, man, I'm uh, studying calculus and send the good RNG for my exam tomorrow. Send the good RNG for the exam tomorrow. Uh, no need for good RNG. You will have the big brain and you will pass and do well. There you go. Good luck with your exam tomorrow, though. But uh, don't rely on luck. Rely on your own skill. That 3K GPM is, sweat is, sw is <laughs> sweaty. I mean, it's it's pretty good. It's It used to be higher, actually. Like, low-key, the higher DPM Yag kind of was a bit more insane but the fact that now you have tungsten to really like think about it this way a vk72 can basically be three tapped by yag with tungsten pretty consistently that's kind of crazy and if you're running high in consumables and adrenaline you can hit those three shots all within this single consumable duration if you get yoloed by let's say that vk72 so yeah it's kind of cracked 
for the start of this game, I was just going to go up towards caves, but as you can see, the enemy team does appear to be going town, and so I'm going to do a little bit of a rotation here. Oh, please let me be fast enough to do some unpleasant things towards this E100 here. Let's see. I'm going to pull forward, buddy. Thank you. One tungsten shell, exactly 950 damage dealt. Very nice. I do get spotted, so I'm just going to kind of remain angled here. And let's see if I can get any more shots over onto this E100 before he pulls around that corner. Second tungsten shell, 944 damage. Like, I've dealt almost 1900 damage already with two shots. Like, that's almost 2k. We have the server, I think, can't even average 2k. <laughs> it's so dumb. You just have to pull up, pop the tungsten, you're chilling. Anyways, we're definitely going to lose the top side, and I probably won't overextend too much. Our type is, is toast. I don't, I mean, there's, there's nothing we can do to really protect that poor type 71. Dude's going to be gone. I'm just going to think about where to relocate to. The thing is, the axe big and slow, so you don't, definitely don't want to get caught out in any positions. And crossfire, especially, could be problematic in this vehicle. So I'm going to see if I can maybe sneak a shell into anyone crossing back. But so far, that does not be, appear to be the case. We are down a little bit. 54 spotting up the rear. My whole... Oh, gosh, our mouse and, and 60 TP are just sniping back here. I can already imagine the Type 71 just molding in chat right now about his terrible teammates. I guess I'll just sit back a bit. I mean, I don't want to be the first one in. I don't have the view range, even with optics, in, to actually do anything about that. Now, maybe if we're lucky, this 54 will spot something up here. Oh, their whole team's sitting in corner. Was not expecting that. Okay, let's see if we can get maybe a clear on this, on this WZ here. Just need him to pull forward. He is not pulling forward. Nice. Okay, someone else clears him. All right, well, it does look like most of their team is just chilling in a corner. So, I wonder if I can get ready to position myself to start dealing some actual damages to these poor unsuspecting foes. Unfortunately, we do lose our view range on that side. The chat at 54. Dunn got himself griefed. Uh, it is... It is expected to happen. Let's see, there's the Kampfpanzer. 850 damage into him. We're going to angle up the hall a little bit, managing to bait the shot into the track. So that's what you kind of want to do with the Yag. Although you do have to be careful not to over-angle because the drive wheel can become a pretty big weak spot. I'm just going to chill here for now. I can use this bush as some degree of cover. And I am semi hull down, so all I have to do is kind of just pull back into cover here and I'll be okay. Uh, CS-59. Interesting. Was not expecting Laddie to be there. See, here's a Type 71. Let's pop a tungsten shell into him. There goes 950 hit points on that poor laddie. And the CS can push in for me all he wants. That's not going to go very well for him as he is also pushing in front of the 60 TP. There's the Kampfpanzer. And let's see. Oh, Bash Atiel messed up. Oop, 912 into him. I mean, he's just crazy. You're basically, I mean, unless you're really unlucky, you're basically never going to roll less than 900 with tungsten activated. It just turns you into a 1 3 with a ton of armor and a better a better handling gun. And, um, okay, so we do take a shot from that, dude. Sadly, the view range on the Yag is still not good enough to spot up that heavy tank there. But I think my team's in a pretty decent spot to win this. We still have a lot of very healthy heavy tanks here. I'm just going to wait to see if this dude pulls out and gives me a shot here. Hmm. All right, let's see, let's see. I wonder if he's poking now. Shot went a little bit too much to the left. If I got spotted, that means he was peeking that. I don't think he was. Anyways, I have enough HP. I've wasted enough time. Let's let's just send it. Let's just send it. Full we'll send ahead, boys. We have some clearing to do here. Oh, wow. It's a wild Type 71. Let's just hot shoot HE into the type there. There we go. That'll guarantee me the 5,000 damage. Easy stuff. And this was a pretty optimal situation where I could just sit back and basically farm players in the open. You won't always get scenarios like that in the Yag, but this one was pretty good because their whole team did send Townside, and we were able to easily cash them out, and yeah, 5,000 damage like that. No problem. Okay. Yeah, this 263 is dead. Very cool. Very cool. All right, Kampfpanzer. Where are you going? Where are you going? He's dead. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Yeah, pretty chill first game. Tink cooks. Fanny we want an HE shot with tungsten and some rear tank. You know, I did that earlier in Rockfield. Some poor yo was like, as a third class because I was sniping. Look at, look, 5,000 damage, but no kills. Base XP, 1,073. I got way more basic. The Yag Tiger did really good. Actually, Yag Tiger coach. Well played to the Yag there. And he also got a little more XP. Deserved. Because uh, he was playing against tier 10. So I think it's a little more aggressive. Ammo racked, ammo racked, ammo racked challenge. Okay. Uh, I will try and get the ammo rack. I'll pop them tungsten. I'll pop that adrenaline. And maybe with a actual crew perk or something. Just boom. Make it go bye bye. We'll see. Fanis, we want an HE shot. <laughs> yes. Uh, hey, good luck, Fanis. And, um, and I am off work. So I can finally watch your live stream. Hey, that's great. 
Hopefully you are chillaxing now. <laughs> Eddie Fans, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you. I'm doing well, Lewis. Good to see you as well. All right, let's see. Next game in the Yag. We're just going to casually drive on over towards probably mid heavy side. I don't really want to go med side. It's just too slow for that. I do have the support of the Super Conqueror, and it looks like the STRV and E Tortoise are also going this way. Um, maybe I'll push more to the left. I usually would maybe try and spot B cap, but I might not do it this time. Oh, interesting. Because I wouldn't have more support. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I wouldn't have any support on B-side. So if they say a 50B starts yellowing for me or something silly like that, there's not much I could do about it. All right, let's pre-aim that. Oh, man. If the Super Conqueror had spotted him sooner, I could have adjusted my aim a little bit more. I really just had to send the shot and hope it would, hoping it would hit. We're going to angle up our haul just a little bit here to Mr. Hori. There we go. Hori does have a whole lot of AP pen. But then again, the Hori's in a bad position. Let's just aim in for that lower plate there. I don't mind taking that little trade there to pick up the clear. Unfortunately, I had to get pent, but at the time, I didn't have much of an option. It looks like the enemy team are being very aggressive over towards A-side. They have two heavy tanks out of the fight here. Now, we do have to watch out for that 183. That one, particularly. Uh, but we can at least pick up a clear on this pat in here. I'm going to go for the kill shot there just to guarantee some clears. And while keeping an eye out on this 183 as well, who probably is just chilling here pre-aiming a little bit. Yeah, I don't want to overextend on this 183. What do I got for support? The Super Bunker is basically it. Okay. Let's see if maybe I should... I don't want to abandon this player here. He did spot me up again. I'm just trying to stay 183 safe for now. Let's see. Is it just the Conqueror? Theoretically, the Conqueror should be fine there. I'm actually going to back up a bit here. Because I think our flank might need some support. And I don't want to just be sitting here staring at a BZ that I can't push on anyways while this 183 is chilling over here. So let's just turn around. Hopefully the Conqueror can just hold back without having to overextend or anything. And hopefully the 183 doesn't go through there. Alright, he does not. Nice. Okay, Mr. 50B. See, this is a less ideal scenario where it's a lot of me just chasing tanks around trying to deal the damage that way. But, oh my gosh. Ask you shall receive. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, man's messed up big time. That's probably the 183. No, no, it has to be the 183. So let's back up a little bit from him. Holy smokes. Oh, no, it's the BZ. Was not expecting my mans to be there. Get the 50 Bs back here. He ricochets, ricochets a shot here. He's going to keep holding this corner. Wait for someone else to spot up that 50 B. 50 B spotted. What's behind me? Thought maybe I saw 183 back there. All right, let's aim for the max roll. Maybe an Amarak or something. Ah, I did. Dude, if my max roll crew skill had activated there, I would have racked him. I'm almost 100% positive because we damaged it with that shot. And I'm, unless I'm mistaken, the max roll crew skill does allow you to max roll your module damage potential. So it's a pretty saucy combination. <gasps> okay, no, 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 no. Pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. What you doing? No, what's he doing? He's, he's not making any sense. This gameplay does not make any sense. Ah, he's dead. I, I, I don't think I'm fast enough to get there, especially with the bunker and tortoise DPM. So, fun game. Uh, I guess I'll do what I can for now, which is basically just HE myself against a wall, because I have nothing better to do. <laughs> okay, so we got the HE Tungsten with over 1,300 damage there. It basically, with Tungsten, and you get an HE pen, it turns you into a little 1A3, essentially, with the Alpha on the HE. Actually, it's it might be higher than the 1A3 now, because I forgot the 1A3's Alpha on HE is only 1,200. And I think the Yag standard HE Alpha damage is 1,200. Wait. Eh? That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, the high explosive alphas should be real high. That's insane. Thank you, Agent 47, for the $10, $10 donation. Okay, it wasn't an Amorak, but I'll give okay, you a props on the beautiful Amorak, shot. Thank you, you very much. Shot. I appreciate the donation, Agent 47. And I will admit, that snapshot on the Leo was pretty saucy. That's why we love the Yag. Sometimes the Yag just cooks. There are games when it doesn't, trust me. I have had plenty of mold-worthy games in the Yagi room where I've missed, like, half my shots, and I just didn't know where they went. I was just like, eh. <laughs> he want that HE max roll. I would love that. Every Amorak is a $50 dono for me. Hey, yo, I did not see that. Okay, okay. So buddy's got to aim for those racks now. <laughs> we got the HE shot. Now I need to get the Amorak. 260 rackable, 268 rackable, 121 rackable, 777 very rackable. The only problem is, is this map is kind of big and I don't think there's much I can do. I could either support med side or I could try and pressure town, assuming I have the support of the heavy tanks. Heavy tanks may or may not support me in town side. 
They might go mid, in which case I'd be going town by myself, and I'm not sure if that's going to be a great idea. And we do have the one to one M16 and 45 kind of showing them in spawn. I would like personally to go town. It'd be a much more ideal environment for the Eager to take, but yeah, uh, Akron and Yo are not going to be going that way. I'll have the support of the Minerato though, at least, so that's good. I know they have heavily armored TD. We might be able to hold them off here. I'm not too concerned about the the Kron. Eh, the Kron if he's holding could be problematic. But the 260 should not be much of an issue. We'll see. All I need to do is get like a nice shot on the rear of the turret. However, oh wow. So they are being quite aggressive right off the bat over on this side. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to sit here anymore. It might be a bad idea. Although the Minerato making good progress already. Perhaps if I can pull up to this building here, I can support him in a rat's a little bit more. And I'm also getting shot through here anyway, so I kind of actually have to pressure up the front a little bit here. All right. So let's pop the tungsten shells here. One shot through the top of the turret. Boom. Oh, wow. An actual sub 900 damage roll. That's crazy. But hey, at least we managed to spend a good shell onto him there. I am a little bit concerned about the 268's positioning as well. I would love to clear him out, but there's not too much I can do about that 268 right now. Let's see if this object gives me a shot. Maybe not. We'll pick up a clear on this dude at least. There we go. Pick up the kills that matter. Now it's just the 777 over here. That is a... Yeah, that's a very big problem. Okay, the 268 just fired. We now have to start pressuring this front side here. Although, if I can clear out this player here, that's huge for me. Perfecto. And we are still in a crossfire from the rear. So now I will either pressure the 268 or... Okay, pressure the 777. All right, let's aim for that max roll ammo rack, maybe. If we're lucky, we'll get it. Okay, let's see. Right through the side. No, I didn't get the max roll. I'm getting scammed. Okay, I gotta turn around now because of this 1-2-1 being a silly, silly, silly little player. Hopefully, the Minotaur doesn't use his reserve shell again. That would just be really dumb. Okay. Please don't use the reserve shell again. Minerato, how many reserve shells are you gonna use this game? Hello, 1-2-1. One, one. Ah, okay. Well, the 1-2-1 probably can't even pen me. I think that's game Jover. Yeah, that is game over. Okay. So, sadly, no Amorak. My team made quick work of the town side. Their heavies were a little over-aggressive. As I figured, they didn't really have the best holding heavies for town, per se. So, them going town was actually a bit of a bad play. Because, you know, me and the Minotaur are ridiculously annoying to deal with. And they definitely they definitely felt that. Alright, let's see. Where could the 1-2-1-2-1 one, two, one, two, one be wandering off to? Oh. I see, I see. He's over here. Oh. Hey, yo, wait a second. Oh, you wait a, wait a, wait a second here, buddy. Oh, no, I didn't realize he was going to run through the open there. I should have just pre-aimed that. Silly me. All right, well, enough hesitation. Let's, um, let's start teaching this 183 a little lesson in who has the better alpha damage. Maybe. Why is the one to one in mid now? No, this one to one silly. He's going to get himself killed before I can do anything. Oh, come on, just let me traverse faster. Please let me traverse a little bit faster. Oh my gosh, this dude's toast. He's toast. One more shot. <laughs> Bro, this is where slow tanks kind of are painful, man. It's like you're chasing around these tanks and they're all just yoloing into the, like the worst positions. 3.3. It's okay. I got okay damage out there. Could have been higher. If I had noticed the one to one crossing, could have nuked him on the crossing there. That would have been saucy. No Amorak, sadly. Man, I really wanted that rack to 777, but I did not win the 35 or whatever. Yeah, what is the crew skill? I didn't win the... I think it's 35%. Yeah, the 35% RNG draw there. If I got the max roll, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Which map is your favorite? Mm, Canal. I really, really like Canal. I think for me personally, Canal is like one of the most consistent maps out there. It has positions and... Both sides are very strong on Canal, and there are positions for every single tank. Not just every single tank class, but like every single tank can do something pretty successfully in Canal, as long as you play it correctly. Boring. Hey, yo, get out of here. Yeah, maybe that game wasn't the most entertaining, but this this game might cook. This game might cook. I'm looking at the lineup. Uh, 62, Rickers, Caro, 2 TDs, 57 in type. Maybe I can rack a 62A. Uh, I don't think anything else really has a weak ammo rack. We'll try. We'll try. If I see that 62A sad, I'm popping them tungsten shells immediately and dunking on them. But we shall see. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm already spooted by the 62A there, I believe. Type went town side. Interesting decision by the Type 71 there. Um, let's see if the 62A is going to be more aggressive with anyone. There's Mr. 62A. 
There is Mr. Caro. Caro's probably gonna cross, but I don't really have a position where I can shoot at him just yet. I am kind of concerned about B side, because as you can see, B side is is kind of yeah, kind of cracked. Oh yeah, that type 71 could be problematic. I'd love to nuke that grill though. No problem dealing with the heat shells from the 62. 62 doesn't have the best pen. Uh, I probably, honestly, I probably should just get out of here. Too much of a crop. Too much of an opportunity for me to not take, I mean. Nice. That's 1300 damage into that grill. Lovely. First HE shot of the game. Good stuff. I'm going to ignore the type temporarily in order to focus someone else like, I don't know. Maybe a 62A with this whole side to me. No ammo rack. That's Sag. That's just Sag. Okay, we have a Type 71 yellowing in on me now. My teammates are not being the most supportive here, but fortunately, I do have a 422 coming in to help. Let's go. That's clutch. All right, Mr. Type 71. Let's AP pen you through the front there. Angle up a little bit. Our Leo and Sheridan should be holding there just fine for the time being. So I'm going to prioritize clearing out this Type 71 first here. And I'm just going to take the shot at, through the side at this point. Yep, that's fine by me. Let's load a heat shot here. 611. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. That's um, that's just fantastic, ain't it? That is just fantastic. I love when the Yag just... You know, I have not won any of my RNG on the max roll crew skill perks today. I think. That's crazy, actually. Alrighty, boys. We got to pressure the 62A out. We got to do something. 4202, if you could have helped me clear out this um, type, that would be super clutch. Because I can't stay here forever. As a matter of fact, I got to start turning around soon. I'm backing up a little bit. Yeah, because we have tanks coming in through the flank here. So, the good news is the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is that? What is that? No, that's bad. That's bad. Leo, you got to send it. I was not paying attention to the caps. I forgot I had supremacy on. But I had it off. Ah! Okay, okay. No, Boyles, stop dying. Leo, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. He actually picked up a clear there. That's crazy. Of course, the type comes back this way. Oh, nice. He missed his, his uh, HE shot. Well, I'll have to reset and immediately go for the kill on him. Oh, it's so Jover for your boy. Maybe I can get one more shot out. Am I fast enough to get into A? Mate? Nah, it's probably not fast enough for A. I'll just go for the damage. I mean, maybe I could have gone A. I don't know. It seems kind of unlikely, all things considered. Ooh, 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 yeah. There we go. Got my 5k damage. You know, I could have gotten A. I'm so dumb. I actually could have gotten A. Leo, just kill someone, please. Don't die. No, I should have gone for A. I'm such a silly man. No. I think I maybe could have won if I had snapped A. Although they would have just recapped C. They would have recapped C. I don't. I don't really think that scenario was too winnable. I should have been faster on killing the type there. My gosh, man, the low roll and the heat kill shot for the type actually kind of uh, was an L. To do 5k, um, yeah, I had a couple of donuts on my... Oh, gosh, the 422 to 0. <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of donuts on my team. And a few players went down, which was probably not the smartest idea, but hey. Well, we still cook it up 5k. We got a couple tanks and HEs in. I'll take it. Sadly, no Amorax yet, but one, one can only hope. <laughs> Gorilla got grilled. Indeed. Hey, Fatness. Good night from Iran. Hello. Hello. Good night. <laughs> it must be pretty late where you are. Fatness, how much would it cost to join RGN if I was 70%? Um, you'd have to contact my lawyer, Panda, on that. <laughs> there is a monthly subscription fee <laughs> plus a down payment. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, odds are pretty much no one's getting the RGN nowadays. E-boom 100. Indeed. Indeed. Dang, I'm kind of sad. If that was not a supremacy matchup, easy 7,000 damage game. Easy. Well, no, 6,000. They didn't have enough HP for 7k late game there. But easy 6,000 plus damage game, maybe even a win. I mean, it would be a little bit hard to win that scenario, but it had potential. It had potential. Um, gosh, man. I really... I think my team want to go med side. I kind of don't want to, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> RG was kind of an L. Yeah. <laughs> you typed a 1,000 damage on him. <laughs> At least I got the 1,000 damage in on the uh, the 57 and the grill. <laughs> that was satisfying. If only I had a low roll the type there, then I could have allocated my attention onto defending the rear faster or maybe getting the caps. Because that type kind of wasted a lot of my time and restricted my movements just a bit by being alive. Oh, wait. It's supremacy again. 
Dang it, maybe I should turn Supremacy off. Supremacy is not good in slow TDs that, that can't, like, go around capping bases. Slow TDs and slow heavies definitely will struggle in Supremacy somewhat. Alright, let's see if we can nuke this 422, though. There's an ever so slight chance I can nuke him. Or the 183. There we go, 917 to the 183 there. He did HE splash me. My teammates are struggling just a little bit here in the corner. Um, but the 422 may be overextending. I'm gonna have to pull down from here a bit. The 422 is gonna send it on the Minerato anyway, so this is a good opportunity for me to dunk a shell right into his booty cheeks. Oh, I should not have rushed that shot. That's crazy. Silly, silly me. Silly, silly me. I have a 183 for cover fire though, so I'm not as worried as I could be about this scenario. I'll just have to push up on this dude, get the clear on him, and maybe max roll the 50B up the booty. Oh, wait, that's an air max potential. 1400! Oh, the high roll on the HE is insane! I'm glad I saved my shot. That was crazy. 54, good stuff, dude. All right, I will happily, happily take that HE roll. That was a massive 200 above alpha, by the way. All right, good. The 54 should be able to clear this dude in a moment. Go 54, go get him. Get him, boy. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Okay, we still have a 183 over here that wishes to die. Wow, I did not win the RNG on the max roll again. That's crazy. I failed every single time I've tried. Right, okay, well, 3,300 damage dealt. Good stuff. If only I had HE'd the 422's rear, that would have been even more satisfying. Maybe I shouldn't have rushed it. Oopsie. Oh, wait, was my tungsten activated when I shot at the 50B? I forgot. I have the consumable delivery system on. It might have been active. No, I no, I shot at the 183 first. There's no way it was active still. Just a random high roll. Lovely stuff. All right, what do we have here? Hello, Minerato. Minerato. See, there we go. Why couldn't I have gotten that roll when I was facing the, uh, the Type 71 earlier? Alrighty, boys. This dude's gonna waste all my time here, man. Oh well, gotta do what I gotta do. Actually, we could still throw this pretty easily, so I'm gonna side scrape. Actually, no, there's no way we're throwing this. This dude is way outclassed. But what I will do here is go for a nice filtering shot, maybe. Bro, what was that aim? That was some diabolical aim there. That was sad. That was really, really sad. Um, pretend y'all didn't see that. And don't don't angle back towards. Of course, of course, of course. He's he's just gonna get the one three shot. <laughs> okay. Well, easy, easy clears. I mean, I still got four K there. I could have had 5k-ish or so, close to 5k if I hadn't missed that. That was a bad aim. I was trying to aim for his fuel tank, so I aimed a little too far forward there, which I probably should have just gone for the easy side shot, guaranteed on the rear part of his hull, uh, instead of going for a fuel tank shot. Also, Bobby's joined us. Say hello, Bobby. Say hello to the stream. Say hello to the stream. Hi. <laughs> you saw a wild Bobby. Yes, the wild Bobby has appeared. There she is. <laughs> Ooh, 1400 damage. Yeah, yeah, the 1400 HE. Dude, the Ag HE is actually so hard. I didn't realize it has 1200 alpha. I thought it was like 1100. What you doing, Bobby? What you doing, you crazy cat? Crazy kitty. No clue what she's up to, but uh, she's probably gonna like start stepping on my screen randomly or something soon. Uh, bad spawn, bad spawn. We need A cap at least, and I don't really trust my allies to cap A. Man, can I stop getting supremacy matchups? He's, he's gonna blow, man. At least with encounter, like, players generally just go to the generic positions of supremacy. Sometimes your team split up so much, it's hard to, like, position yourself to just maximize farm. In a slower tank, like the Yag. Alright, let's see. Frog's getting capped. Bobby, what are you doing? If the stream randomly stops, blame Bobby. She's, like, stepping all over everything. I don't know what she's up to. She's being a wild kitty, that's for sure. Oh, 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 you're gonna go sleep on the keyboard. Careful now, don't touch, don't touch the key. Oh my gosh, look at the bobbers. He's sleeping on the keyboard. Whoa there, buddy. Oh my, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Bobby Dono, thank you, Agent 47, appreciate that. Bobby Dono. Oh my gosh, I got scammed on that 268. His whole flat, like, superstructure, and of course it misses. But my team is getting griefed on A side, and we are going to lose C cap soon as well. So that's an L. That's a massive L, actually. Welcome to this map, dude. At least my team have A cap control. Like, that's that's the biggest W we can have right now, is A cap control. Oh, I'm going to have to watch our rear soon. There's the E3. Okay, we know the E3's positioning. 
I just want to see if I can maybe nick this 2-6 if he backs up a little bit. He's not backing up. Or if the E3 pulls forward a little bit more, though. You know, I'm going to send it for the shot. Mm, it's never going to hit. HE? No. Oh, this is such a bad scenario to be in, dude. We're down two caps as well. At least my heavies are kind of pressuring that side. So that's good. Hold on a second, SDRV. Wait up a moment there, buddy. Where do you think you're going? Alright, 1300 damage into this very silly SDRV here. Not sure what Mans was thinking. Kind of got a little over aggro. The problem that we still face is a very high cap deficit here. We're going to have to pick up a triple cap eventually, or a double cap at least, to start making up for the cap deficit we currently have. Let's pick up a clear on this dude. Nice, everyone wonder has been cooking. Good stuff. Enemies E100 also starting to pull up here a little bit more aggressively, though. And just pop that adrenaline. Oh, Bobby finally left, so I can put the camera back. All right, this enemy E100 here. Just nuked our mans. Let's go for that track shot. Yep, that's the Yag gun I'm used to. There we go. There's the random rat ricochets, and this dude's dead to the TVP. Insane. Very insane. I hear Bobby meowing in the background. You guys probably can't hear her, but she just chilling back there. All right. 950. So far, my allies have done nothing about the cap deficit problem here. And this is why I have a massive problem with playing TDs and Supremacy. I can't do anything about the silly caps, man. I really just can't do anything about the caps. My goodness. It's all Jover for us. Yep, it's gonna be Jover before I can even reload. I'm turning Supremacy off. This is dog water game mode, dude. <laughs> for TDs. It's so dog water. Especially when you're on this map, on the bad spawn. Oh my goodness. I should have just gone town. I consider going town. I think town would have been better play. Still got 3k damage out there. I don't know, man. 57. Ah, uh, okay. We're turning supremacy off. Mode is trash for TDs without that are slow. Still, we've been pretty consistently pulling out the HE. HE damages. I like how like basically the only two losses I experienced is just because I literally can't do anything about caps. There's no way I'm driving into C cap by myself. There's no way I could have crossed there and taken A. I would have just been deleted instantly. I just, uh, yeah. I just don't like supremacy for TDs, especially slow ones. If I'm in a grill, you can definitely be sneaky about it. Um, or even a 26A or even the WZ box TD. But uh, things like an E3 and a Yag and a Minotauro, I would recommend keeping supremacy off just for your sanity's sake. Um, <laughs> Supremacy Guards and Counter Supreme. Supremacy has its moments where it's good, but I generally think Supremacy is only really worth playing in mediums or lights, usually, or fast heavies. Can you do E50M stream in the future? Maybe. Uh, it's been a while since I've played the E50M, but I, I'm not a huge fan of it. But of course, the moment I turn Supremacy off, hmm, that's a minute. There's 43 players in tier 10 Wargaming. There's 40, there's 56 players in tier 10 Wargaming. Come on. This is why skill-based matchmaker is a bad idea. You see how long it's taking me to get a game? Should never take you over a minute to get a game in the middle of the day when there's 50 people in the here 10 queue. That's crazy. That's why that's why we need to like not restrict matchmaker too much. Because people are just people like me that are impatient in queue will just get annoyed. <laughs> how much would it cost for you to join Kraken's comp team? Um Hey, if you have like a million bucks, I'll consider it. <laughs> there's quite a few you know the, the thing is is like there's quite a few players on right now but with the matchmaker and everything and me playing encounter only and that's not even same control mode on if i were to activate same control mode as well dude that queue would be eternal eternal i'd be sitting in there for like five minutes to get a game so yeah hopefully matchmaker doesn't remain quite so silly there that's not good i'm gonna get spotted pretty quickly here aren't i probably already spotted Yep, I am already spooked. Great. Enemy team quite split up here, though. I don't know how I feel about that. I got cat fur in my face. Thanks, Bobby. Okay, that's one of the big boys over there. Well, 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 what do we have here? It's a wild M60. Aim, 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 and fire. Dude, fully aimed in. I should have snapped it. Why the heck am I fully aiming in these shots? Snapping it would have been smarter. Answer with that goaded RNG. Alright, M60. Yes, yes, yes. You're perfectly safe. Pull up again. Oh, Batcha, come on. <laughs> the timing is just so trash right now. 
These dudes are gonna die and I'm gonna do zero damage to them. But I don't wanna cross in the open because of the E4. Okay, M60. Are you gonna spend all day sitting here staring for me? Meanwhile, you're getting overrun in the caves. Instead of running away to a safe position, he's just gonna sit there and die. Okay. Crazy, crazy M60 there. Three players down, three shots, zero damage. Love it. Love it. Good stuff. Amazing. Oh, okay, this game's gonna suck for damage. I should have just gone mid and tried to fight town like I usually would. Hmm. Okay, come on. D are you 100 fired? I wasn't spotted. You just randomly moved there. <laughs> you didn't even have to move there. Are you 100 was on reload. The silly players, man. These silly players, I tell you. Am I even going to get any damage this game is the real question. I don't want to push up on the 100, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is an opportunity that I can't afford to miss, though. First lady, e 5s crossing the open. Please gun. Thank you. Finally, not getting scammed by the gun. And this is going to be my worst game of the stream yet. Lovely stuff. You hate to see it. However, there is a wild 777 approaching. Hello, kind sir. All right. Take 800 to the face there, sir. Thank you very much for the track shot. Now we're at 1100 damage. Oh, I'm cooking. This girl's about to... This girl just basically got this man's murked. Yeah, all right, he's dead. And uh, yeah, that's the whole game. Amazing. Still got 2k out though. Lucky me. Enjoy the Fosh go. Sneaky little Fosh. I respect it. Dude actually snuck out somehow. Oh my gosh. Why is he there of all places? No, he's going to get nuked before I can hit him. I just know it. No, 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 no. Mr. Fosh. H-E. No. H-E. I believe. Oh my gosh. Why did he just sit up there spotted? Ay, ay, ay. I didn't think he'd be sitting back there. Why the silly little Foshy poo? I don't think I'm getting any more damage out, guys. This was a trash game. Maybe if RNG hadn't screwed me twice on the M60 there, I could have at least had three and a half thousand, but oh well. <laughs> Slow tank speed going burr. All right. If I ask good morning from Singapore, good morning. Sometimes depending on the matchmaker, it'll be several minutes before you enter a match and you can all have to like 50, 60 plus 70 tanks. At, yeah, at that tier. Curious on how that works sometimes. Same. Eh, I did okay. At least I didn't do bottom three. <laughs> that was not a good game. Pretend that one didn't happen. Got scammed. Absolutely scammed. That's probably really the only downside to the jaeger is its sluggish mobility. Could be a little bit problematic at times. Unfortunately. I don't find myself playing the uh, quite as often nowadays because it's just too slow in the meta. I mean, you have to think like... Everything got mobility buffs except for the Yag, uh, really. 268, WZTD, um, E5, 215B, IS4, <laughs> you know, it just goes on. Uh, the list goes on 62A. Well, actually, 62A is kind of whatever now, but it used to go 50, right? Now it goes... What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but the Yag still just... Is, it struggles to get around sometimes. It does. That's probably my only, like, actual gripe with the tank, for the most part. E everything else is perfect. Sometimes, being aggressive in the Yag is less advantageous than just sitting back and sniping. Because sometimes, if you snipe, you'll just... You don't have to move too much to deal the damage. Whereas, if you're aggressive, you'll end up going to the wrong side. Enemy team goes the other way. Then you just waste a bunch of time chasing things around. Mm-hmm. Well, someone spotted our Kron on the crossing here. Ooh, what do we got there? Nice. 750 damage into that E50M. Lovely stuff. Looks like the enemy team is headed this way, though, so that's good news. Yep, I had a feeling that 268 was going to be back there. I wonder if he'll poke out again. Or am I wasting my time on this dude? No, not quite. I don't know. He's definitely going to poke out in the moments, right? We're going to pre-aim. Five, four, three, two, one. Maybe a hit. I can't tell. We'll see. Are you e 4 didn't get spotted, so maybe he didn't pull forward all the way. I should have kept an eye on what E4 was doing. Anyhow, the C5 is overextended. I'm just going to rotate in and just push the side. I think their E4 is probably sniping the back or Yo or something. They're not really here. Oh, these games are so dumb. <laughs> like, why would their Vickers in E5 just YOLO the ditch? Oh, someone got a rack, but it wasn't me. No. All right, M60. No more luck for you. 
I'm beginning to hate this gun. <laughs> I'm beginning to hate what this gun is doing to me. Low key. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't pull. Keep pulling backwards. Backwards is safer. Oh, finally. Someone that can give me a shot here. Aim. Nice. Didn't waste my tungsten either. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a silly game so far. That dude's just gone. E4 is pushing up. You know, at this rate, I'm probably better off just nuking this M60 here. Oh, very good, very good M60. Woo-wee! 1,200 damage on the M60. Leo's not even really paying attention to me here. Hello, Mr. M60. What's your plan, buddy? That's a good plan. I appreciate your plan, sir. Lovely! Alright, that player's down, and now we just go back and clear out this yo. Basically, that's gonna be GG, but that'll put me at about 4,000 damage for this game. Much better! Too bad I bounced one of the shots at the M60, but at least I made up for it with the HG later on. Hello, Mr. Yo. There we go. And I am way too stuck in Narnia to probably reach this dude, but I will try my best. But that's about, yeah, 4k damage dealt. Beep, bop, boop, bop. And this object's probably dead. Oh, no, he gets saved from behind. Lovely. <laughs> Can you hear proxies for my stream soon, please? <laughs> yes, Red Staff. Uh, uh, that's already on the agenda today. That is on the agenda. <laughs> Alrighty. 4,300 damage. I did okay. I did okay that game. That, that, that was better. <laughs> uh, I think I mostly... Actually, I play exclusively on the NA server. I do have press accounts, I think, on the other servers, but I don't bother. Uh, I don't want to play with 250 ping. That's just a no-go for me. Uh, Fanis, recall you told me um, that it would cost $30,000 to join RGN, and you, you would split it across your clan members. Is that still the case? For, for, but <laughs> Or inflation has increased the price. Yeah, what's up that the 45000 <laughs> You shouldn't have brought that up. Nah, yeah, you're right. Inflation. I played both the 4005 and I prefer 183 over Jag and 45 because it's funny hash moments. Yeah, I mean, 23 hash is kind of like... You played 183 for the memes, right? All right, let's see. They have WZ, Jag, IS-7. Um, darn. So my whole team wants to go right side. Okay, okay. Well, at least let me traverse, man. <laughs> These players... They're like, hey, if I just drive into the side of a Yag that's trying to turn to let us pass, we're just gonna, like... Yeah, he'll definitely be able to traverse there, right? Right, guys? Right? <laughs> uh, this is gonna be one of those kind of uh, interesting scenarios, I think. Not a whole lot I can do about this game. Because my team wants to go all right. I just kind of got to go with, and hopefully things go well. You just got to get the silver from my prog. Mmm. Good luck on that. Go get some ace tankers. That will help out a lot. Alrighty. Back to Yeager Sniping Simulator we go. I don't really want to snipe the Yag, but, uh... Oh, well. I don't really have much of a choice in this battle here. Hmm... I believe. Nice. I had faith. The faith worked! Let's go. I need my Amorex and more HE shells here. Judging by this dude's driving pattern, he probably doesn't have the most support. Let's take one blind shot here. In case they do have a TD that... Oh boy, this is gonna be rather egregious for me. Wish me luck, guys, on my rotation out. Because right now my teammates are all gonna be in a position where they cannot provide me with any valid support. Alright, reverse angling. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to take the spawn fight. Hopefully my allies come back here. No, they are definitely not coming back here, dude. They are definitely not coming back here. Why? I got abandoned. I have done been abandoned, boys, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, there's the I-7. What else? What else? There's the Yag. I don't even want to push onto this I-7 by myself until I know- Oh yeah, the Yo's coming around too. TI-5 is kind of in a position to provide me with a degree of support here, but that's about it. Hello, I-7. Oh, come on, gun! One job. One job. You had one job there. Yeah, of course he bends that too. And I can't even kind of push this. Oh my gosh, I gotta back down now a little bit here, I think. Help out, help out this dude here. Maybe, maybe if I'm lucky, shot to the rear of the turret here. TI-5 don't- oh my gosh, TI-5 is blocking all of my shots with this gun here. I'm dead, by the way. I am very dead, probably. With this E4, these other players pushing in here. There's like nothing I can really do about this scenario. 
Hmm, do I go for the HE? Do I have an HE shot here? Not really. So let's pick up a clear on this dude. Oh, I give up. I actually give up. This gun is trolling me too much. What is this nonsense? Absolute tomfoolery that this gun is putting me through. Oh, please just don't track me again. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. For oh, of course he tracked me. One option left for me, boys. What? Oh! HE pen? I thought I swapped the AP. Well, we got the HE pen on the four. Almost 3k damage. Um, yeah, so my allies basically wandered all the way around the map, getting themselves killed in the mid, instead of just rotating back and dealing with them in our spawn. Like, my gosh, dude. <sighs> full flat side of a IS-7, bounce, full flat upper plate of a tier 9 WZ heavy, bounce. Literally, we probably would have been able to win this if Five I had managed to take care of them. Yes, I'm a sim. It's a simple slabby <laughs> <into the> rear, <laughs> rear compartment of, of, I'm greedy for that of your tank because I'm greedy for that damage. Oh my gosh, Agent, thank you for the donation. Oh my goodness. Dude, if that WZ had died, I would have had enough HP to not die to the E4 in the next shot because I wouldn't have been tracked or lost HP there. We probably could have won, but I don't think we have any chance of winning this now. RNG sometimes is just such a rat, not gonna lie. Like, it can be such a rat because this WZ be dead, the E4 probably be dead because my team could have double teamed them. And um, yeah, now now we're gonna lose this basically with pretty pretty easily here. It's crazy what a little bit of bad RNG can do. Crazy. This game was very winnable, but uh, not anymore. <laughs> and lots of IS-7s go to the... No, 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 don't back up. Don't back up. He can't pen you in a face hug. Oh my goodness, this player. This player, man. He just lost an extra 400 HP. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe he cooks, though. If he knows what he's doing. Let's watch this 1v1. We have Famous 2-3 versus Sabino. Oh, Famous 2-3 knows about the IS-7 weak spot on the hall. Will he gun block? You got a gun block, buddy, or else you will get penned through the same weak spot. Oh, and he gets counter pens because he is not even trying to gun block here. Oh my goodness. It is old Jover. He gets another ricochet. Stop trying to back up, dude. You're going to give him a free upper plate shot. You got to keep that face hug. Got to gun block him. Move back and forth a little bit. But he is not clutching up. Oh, wait. He does get another ricochet and another pen. Let's go. If our man's only had an extra 400 hit points, if he hadn't backed up from the WZ, it would be on even footing right now. Let's see if our IS-7 can still cook to keep, keep the motion. Oh, he cooks again. Come on, come on. Turret weak spot. Always. Oh, this is the battle of the century. No way. No way. Hacks. Hacks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Pet it, APCR. Pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it, pet it. Nice! Oh, he lags! The enemy IS-7 lagging a little bit there. Oh my gosh, what am I watching? The battle of the IS-7s. There's no way their IS-7s is actually throwing this, right? There's no way he throws- Oh my goodness! We have ourselves a very intensive fight. Now, if our IS-7 is backs up and gets an easy shot on the pike nose, it's easy. But if he keeps the face hug, he might end up throwing. Oh, and he's starting to throw. You got a gun block. You got to move. Got to move. Got to bunk. No, no, no. Don't get this out of your pike nose. Ah, so close. So close. I don't know why he angled there. He gave the IS-7 a free pike nose shot. What a silly willy. What a silly, silly willy. My goodness, man. I still did okay, all things considered. Our TI-5 got cooked. Okay, well... If the RNG had not scammed me, actually, instead of, you know, I'm not sniping this tank. Let me take a vertical stabilizer just for the faster aim time. Like, let's see if that helps a little bit. Just gonna mess around with the equipment. That was quite the interesting uh, 1v1 there. The IS-7 threw hard. Both IS-7s are throwing. Let's be honest, their IS-7 was like 1800 HP versus 1100 or something. I forget the HP pool there, uh, but it was like, he was a lot healthier. Uh, but unfortunately, our IS-7 there did a little boo-boo. So what he should have done, because he had fired before their IS-7, and he had a, I think he had adrenaline running at the time, is just try and pull back and angle it a little bit to get their IS-7 to overshoot him a bit, then easy upper plate shot. If he had ended the brawl like that, he probably would have had it in the bag. But uh, it was a good try. It was it was a noble attempt. I, I'll give him credit for the noble attempt. <laughs> <laughs> what did we witness? Yes. Oh, you're very good at commentating what V. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Are you running V stabs? No, I, I put V stabs on and it is a sniping map. So, what tanks could I potentially am rack? Side of 60 TP, easy rack. Side of 57, potential easy rack. BZ, rear the turret, slash side of the hall, potential rack. Uh, grill HE, 405 HE. 
1492, potentially an HG. Yeah, E4, maybe an HG if we get a sight. You know, there's a lot of possibilities in this game, so I'm, I'm gonna set up a snipe. This is one of the few maps where you'll actually see me sniping. One of the very few, and that's because I really don't have a choice. I don't have a turret or gun impression, so I can't really work mid, and since I spawn down here, trying to rotate med side is just impractical. So, we're gonna set up shop over in the middle here, and hopefully have a, a fine and dandy cooking time. Ooh, interesting. So the enemy 57 already spooted. All right, interesting plays by that 57 heavy there. Now, I can't really spot anything myself, so... Hmm, maybe? Nope, that was never gonna hit. Their 57 throwing this tank away at this point already. Interesting. Oh yeah, 57's already dead. How peculiar was that? Let's see. 405 up in the corner. Is this 60 TP AFK? I can't tell. Looks like he might be. Oh, how interesting is that? No, 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 no. Pull forward. You are very, you are very safe. Very safe. Yes, very safe. All right, 900 into that laddie there. Looks like the 60 TP is indeed alive. Just very slow. Very slow, but alive. Okay. Let's see. Back up, easy. All right, I have 13 seconds to nuke this BZ again. Shoot and back up, buddy. Shoot and back up. That, that a boy. Yeah, back up right into my reticle there. Oof, 930 damage. Lovely, or 925. All right, so we've already dealt 1800 plus damage here. Good stuff. My meds have complete map control over that side. Also good stuff. Let's see if this BZ tries to move out. BZ is not going to be a problem. Let's see. They still have an E4, which I anticipate to be maybe up there. 60 TP over there. Grill's up in that top corner, and the 405 is over the right side. So what can your boy cook up here? Can't really cook the grill at the moment. Hmm, 60 TP finally moving in. E100 unfortunately fluffing a shot here, but he is backing up a lot. Not fast enough though. He didn't back up fast enough. Ain't that a pity. Enemy 405 getting nuked here already. Let's go, let's go back up the, back up the bad way, back up the bad way. No, he backed up the smart way. Ain't that crazy. All right, I believe. Oh, we found the E4's positioning, so the E4 is just sitting against the red line. He's not even, like, sniping properly, but he's just sitting in the open. Interesting. I'll pull up a little bit here. Alrighty. Really? How did that miss? And how did I not spot him up sooner? This 405 is such a silly player, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Keep throwing your tank away. Good stuff, good stuff. Alrighty. I kind of wish the E75 wasn't sniping back here, because he's basically just getting in my way at this point. Hmm. Well, I can't really move right now. Lovely. Okay, 45 should be reloaded right about now. I don't know if he'll pull up into the bush again or not, so let's just take a one shot with HE. I don't think that hit. I did get spotted, though, so he was there. He was there. Maybe I should have shot AP. Also, yeah, the 405 is still back there. Interesting. Hmm. Yo, my team is actually losing the flank. What? When did that happen? I thought they were cooking. Confirmed. They are not cooking, guys. They are not cooking. And nor does it appear am I. Hmm, let's see. If we can kill that 405, I can do add a little bit more pressure around this side. There we go. Alright, 405 down. Let's go to the next player. TI2. Unfortunately, the 60 TP is covered by the T110E4, which is going to make pressuring him a little bit of a pain, but I got to send it here. Don't, don't really have much of a choice. So, let's see where this E4 could be at. Tungsten shells, maybe a rack. No, no ammo rack. Unfortunate. To angle up a little bit here. Just try and, try and keep a troll a little bit. Okay. Nice. Girl finally pick up that clear. I believe in you. HE. That's not how it's done, buddy. But okay. Um, and now I need to go defend our spawn. Ooh, our flank is so... Our flank is so jover, dude. Our flank is so jover. Nice of our E100 to finally push up, though. We respect it. Mm-hmm. Nope. Unlucky. I'm dead. I'm very dead here. I'm very, 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 very dead. Not much I can do. I'm just trying to cover this side a little bit. See if I can at least get hull down. I don't think the E4 is going to push up on me. So let's try and get hull down for now on this corner in case the girl or something pushes in. 
The grill is farming a little bit. That's good news. Hmm. I didn't know my team was going to lose the flink. I should have just kept sniping Loki. Probably would have been a bit more effective there. Uh, okay, they are cooking. They are cooking on this side. I give. I gotta give them credit. They cook. Spotted I am, though. Which I could be spotted from the opposing tank destroyer position or from behind. One of the two options here. I think it's more, much more likely I've been spotted from up in this position here. Correct. Unfortunately, I aimed a little bit too much to the right side there. But at least I figured out where his tank was. That's why, that's why I positioned myself on that corner like so. I kind of had to. Only a minute left in this game. My grill's still healthy. Their TI2 is still floating around somewhere. And our E75 probably won't be able to spot up in time. And our grill is pretty much one shot here. So what do I do? What do I do? I think they're just going to go for the draw. Wow, what a crazy game. Yeah, I, I personally think the TI2 probably already ran out. Dude, there's the enemy's grill. Oh no, he did not run out. The grill is still here. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. If this grill pokes out even a hair here. Okay. Hit that back out a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Actually scammed. Actually scammed. Our only chance of winning. E35, you gotta pick up that clear there. I have faith in you, buddy. Oh, 20 seconds left. No! What is that? RNGY! I had his whole hole in my medical there. Why does RNG got to be cruel like that, man? And he's already relocated. Yep. <laughs> Draw. Silly game. <gasps> How did our med side fall to a T92 and a grill? That's what I want to know. How did our med side fall to a T92 and a grill? Because, oh no, there's probably one other tank covering that side, right? 4K dealt. Um, BZ, I pretty much cleared. 57, we insta-cleared. 405 was on our side. 60 TP was on our side. E4 was on our side. So you're telling me our bat chat, our 4202, um, and whoever else was a, a grill, we're not able to deal <laughs> with a T92 and a grill of 15. That's crazy. Th they didn't just lose that side. They lost no HP losing that side. Uh, like the enemy team lost no hit points in that. Blind firing 101. RNG 101 failed to commit. I know, man. I should have just shot AP, but at the time, like when I when the uh, I decided to shoot that shell there, I he was still 1100 HP the moment I was gonna fire, so I didn't have time to swap to AP. Um, and I thought maybe a tungsten HE with uh would be able to clear out the grill uh the grill there because I didn't know our grill. I wasn't sure if our grill was gonna shoot him or not. Should have just fired AP maybe, but I don't think we would have won that anyways. <laughs> our, our, our team was just so slow. Oh boy. All right, we're going to go med side again. Still no Amorax. That's kind of crazy. I thought I would have definitely had an Amorax by now in this tank. And I've been, like, aiming for them. So I do like the Yager Fatties. I mean, I enjoy the tank. It's not a tank I play too often. And you'll see... You'll, this, is just, this is exactly why. I just do not enjoy being in a position where I'm too slow to actually make an important difference in the game. The Yag hits hard. The Yag is a lot of fun. But also, it can just be too slow and big to be effective in a lot of scenarios. Uh, especially in a fast-paced game where there's a lot of players yellowing around left, right, and center. It can be quite problematic. So that's that's probably my only like major drawback with the Yag. Otherwise, I, I do love the tank. And it is my first tier 10. I hold it in a special place within my heart. My first tier 10, you know how it is. Tank is just special like that. Alrighty. So... I may see me an opportunity here that I personally cannot afford to miss. So, are you telling me I rolled 9, 977 on that dude with a Tungsten HE with 1200 standard alpha damage, by the way. So, 1200 standard alpha plus Tungsten, which should bring me up to like 13, 1400 easily. And I rolled 900? That spall should only drop the damage by 20%, if I remember correctly. Going. Oh, low roll. Low roll. Well, that was crazy. I should have had, like, 1,900 damage by now, but, uh, you know. It do be kind of crazy when the, when the spall, like, absolutely just <laughs> destroys your alpha damage. Okay, girl, I get it. I get it. Buddy, congratulations on flanking our team. Real, real, real impressive stuff there, Grill. 
Alrighty, let's see. Nice. Team's doing okay here. Mm, can't be helped. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. That's right, Grill. That's right. Aren't you aren't you such a aren't you in such a good position here, buddy? Hello, Mr. Gorilla15. Right, good stuff, okay. Good stuff, Mr. Grill. Oh my gosh, don't tell me this silly, silly, silly Amex 30 Proto here. Yoink! Yeah, that's crazy how much the spell blocks out, dude. 1200 standard and it brings it all the way down to about 900 ish or so alpha but when i had tungsten out when i had tungsten shells activated that should have basically canceled that out okay so our cc died their yo is probably afk i don't know where else he could be right now oh no maybe he's not oh no no he has to be afk well at least we won at least we won i think i still got about 3k damage out not the highest damage game what is that four shots three shots three or four shots which is enough but not enough for me to farm as much as I would have liked to. Yeah, he's AFK. I'm never getting there in time. I am never getting there in time. Sag, Sag, slow tank problems. Look how much faster they forgot there than me. I'm not a good mother. <laughs> All right. Even though I spent well enough too much, saving the wallet is not looking <laughs> what's in the game store. Ah, well, there's nothing too valuable in the game store right now, I think. I choose Yeager as the, <laughs> as the back mod side scraping. Huh? I could use the Yeager. As in the back mouse side scraping, huh? Yeah, 2600. Oh my gosh, man. That's crazy. Spall should not dampen the damage that much. It's 20%, right? Yeah, minus 20%. Hmm. Interesting. You made roll the tungsten HE, so you only got like a 5% boost in damage. No, I don't think I mineraled it. I mean, what's the minimum HE roll on a Yag? Like what, 800 or something? I will admit, dude, on that waffle, that was a scam for sure. That was a that was a mega scam. Oh, nice. This is actually not a bad map for this tank. As long as my team doesn't lose hill, we have a fair chance here of cooking. So, let us commence. This is one of the few maps where I'm like, yeah, it's actually, you know what? I don't mind the Yag on, on, on mines. As long as we don't lose the hill, that's the important part. I'm going to have to try and pre-aim and nuke kill as quickly as possible. Fortunately, there's not uprising, no TVPs with rewind, no 4 2 2 3 one Once they're nuked, they're nuked. Okay, is he gonna cross up? Nope, they didn't. Perfect. Perfecto. Noise. Now, unfortunately, my allies did get uh, a little bit of an unpleasant experience there, but not the end of the world. Ooh, and no play dead 57 heavies. Let's go. Extra W's here. Yeah. Woo, 985. That hits hard. Very nice. I'll have to watch for the TPP crawling up behind me here eventually. But my team does have basically the essential hill control here. That's all that matters. This concept doesn't seem very bright. So, you know, let's just put a Shandu's engine deck. There we go. 901. There's the 422 on the flank there. Concept is, um, yeah, he, he, just, he just bonked himself there. E6 also doesn't seem all that bright. I'm not really sure what he's trying to accomplish here. But what I do see is the rear of a Type 71's turret, which means Amrak maybe? Nah, not quite. Sag, Sag. At least he got the shot into him. Oh, this game is already Jover. It just keeps Jover. I don't even know if I'm gonna farm this battle. Like low key. Buddy not even might not even be able to farm this game. Hmm. Oh wait, wait. Maybe I can get my Amorak here. Nah. No ma have I max rolled at all today? I'm pretty sure I have a 35%. My crew skill should be maxed out. There's no way I've like hit zero max rolls today. But that's actually kind of crazy, man. Hello, type. Ah, oh, waste of a shot. Okay, I should have killed E4 instead. Well, 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 well. What do we have here? Oh, this dude's about to get nuked, eh? It might not be for me either. No, 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 no. Don't poke the 1E3. Oh my gosh, you silly 4 2 it's Oh my gosh, I thought... I, it looked like I had enough gun depression, but boom, it just ran out. <laughs> this 1 is probably so bad at me. He's like, stupid gang. Just missed a point blank shot. Uh... Uh, what a waste of a game. What a waste. What even was this enemy team, dude? E6. Just like way overextended, got himself nuked. Same with the concept. Um, these meds just kind of yelled the wrong way. 
<laughs> I mean, they tried taking the hill off first, but this was so such a one-sided game, dude. My goodness. All right, I believe in the Yag's potential here. Never mind, this dude's just gonna sit back and die. I see how it is. <gasps> oh, what are these battles? All of these are fun. <laughs> I mean, I got okay damage out, but it was so fast, man. I need slow-paced games for the Yag to cook. Why, why are the games just such a sweep? Here and there, 3,400 damage is fine. 6k credits lost because yay, lots of consumables. Oh, I did top. I would have had 4k if I hadn't fluffed my 4 2 2 shot. Silly me. I do. <laughs> That's like one, guys. Thank you very much, Beast Effect. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go get. Uh, I'm. Well, I'm gonna get going. Gotta enjoy life the best as I can before it's too late. Thanks for dropping by, Fawn. Take care. How's the Akpenzer going to be like when you uh, first got it? When I first got it, 800 alpha. It had a very weak superstructure in comparison to anything it has today. Weaker lower plate, weaker sides, if I remember correctly. Um, its mobility maybe was about the same. And I don't know if it's... I think even its accuracy in DPM might not have even been quite as good. Uh, but it, it, it's good now. It's good now. But that basically was it. Now, back then, you only had single-use repair kits. So... You would take either food or adrenaline and then two repair kits. Usually the multi-purpose multi repair kit and your standard repair kit. And that's all you would have for the whole game. Just one one copy of each, right? And then... So yeah, getting permatract was definitely a much bigger problem back in those days. For sure, for sure. Nowadays, not so much of an issue. Back then, yes. Alrighty. Let's see. Anyone around this corner? Not yet. What about this corner here? Also not yet. The enemy teams seem to be... Kind of back here a little bit. I might be getting a little over aggressive, but I want to be pretty quick before my hill falls, which could be very soon. So I'm going to actually start pressuring the side ever so slightly more than I would usually do. Yeah, this is perfect opportunity. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity here. All right, one HG shot. So this man's here. Very nice. And then we're just going to casually pin ourselves against this whole so we can't traverse or move at all. Nice, another tungsten shell, please. Thank you. 900 more damage to the Hori here. All right, boys, please clear out this Hori for me. Like, seriously, guys. Oh my gosh, what in earth is my team doing? No. Oh, I way overextended here. I'm dead. Uh, okay, so. Oh, 50 bees in the back of spawn. 183 apparently shooting at nothing. Hori at least was there for support. IS4 is just hiding back here. Yo, that's crazy actually crazy okay maybe I'm a little over aggressive i did not think they were gonna send a leo all the way off of the hill and yolo back for me if that leo wasn't there would have been fine what i don't understand is how it took them so long i we had a 183 a whole re and an is4 how did it take them so long to kill a whole re that was sideways to them in the open that's what i'm confused about i don't know we should probably win i'm not gonna watch this that looks boring let's just jump into something else uh, okay. Also, our 50B sitting in the back of spawn. You know what? I'll just take out the, uh, the better, the, the secondary Yag for a game while I wait. Don't worry. We'll jump back into the Yag soon for a game or two. <laughs> Jack have kind of goaded, but with the attachment, man, I didn't get any, like, really good games in the Yag on stream today. Quite literally, the pub game I played before I started streaming was 7,000 damage. Like, just a goaded, goaded fun game of the Yag. And then... And then basically, like, all stream long has just been rat stuff. Like, who sits in the back of spawn on Middleburg with a 50B? And I'm still confused. I still have absolutely no clue what our IS4 and, uh, like, 183 were shooting at. Because I quite literally killed the Chieftain and dealt with their Hori, distracted their Hori, literally pinned them in the open sideways for all of my teammates to shoot. But he should have been insta-dead there. Like, come on. <laughs> the better Yag. Low key. The, the one reason why I may prefer the 183 over the Yag. Well, two reasons. One. Uh, three reasons. One, it has a turret. Two, it's faster. And three. It, um, it does ha have harder hitting HE shells and AP shells. That's about it. Otherwise, the Yag is the Yag is still is, is still the GOAT. Hmm, that's not good. We have no vision. Oh my gosh, I just love, I just love this map. I just love how their team could just pull up through here for free. 
please poke out on me again there. I'm gonna have to pull back from here. Yeah, welcome to this map, which is absolutely just terrible. It's so one-sided in terms of spawns. It's not even it's not even a joke, man, just how bad the spawns are on this map here. Yeah, nice try, dude. Okay, I give up. I give up. Yeah. Sure. Sure, I ricochet that. TVP, at least come back and assist me. Please and thank you. I actually give up, dude. What is that nonsense? Absolute tomfoolery. <laughs> All right, TVP, I have faith in you, buddy. YOLO him. YOLO the Sheridan. Whoop. I'm making it that easy on you. Get him. Go, oh, TVP. What are you doing? TVP, stop sitting in the open and just do something. Anything. Oh my gosh, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna die here to the to the um, TVP or Sheridan. I'm not dead yet, but dude, I, I'm not wasting a kill shot on that. You can go get him, TVP. I'm gonna wait for my opportunity to kill the TVP here, maybe. Holy my goodness! All right, max relay cheat time. TVP. Oh, this map is so bad. So our TVP was a certified bot. <laughs> or Leo sitting in Narnia too. That's what I get for trying to cover A side. But it's cool. I actually wanted the game to be fast so I can jump back into my... You guys lost? Really? Really? Oh, this is why. 41%... 70,000 games and 41%. 34,000 games and 48%. Um, yeah, that's why we lost. We basically had two tier 5 players on the team. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Like, if you're gonna sit in the back and snipe, why on earth are you taking a 50B? Just jump into a 40 or 5 or take a Grail or, like, heck, even do it in a Minotaur. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> why a 50B, though? Yeah, I mean to type... Oh my gosh, this map again. Let's see, what do we got in lineup here? STB, 114, 30B. We got Akira on E50M. You know what? This time... You know what I'm going to do this time, guys? I'm going to ensure my medium takes win. Because our Akira and E50M might struggle on that side. So I am going to do my best to get out of here as quickly as possible. I'm sure my meds win. Hopefully I can cross without getting spotted. Because if I get spotted, it's going to hurt a lot. But... Last time I was sniping, this just wasn't too much going on. Like, sure, I did 4k damage that game, but I felt like if I'd been there to swear my meds more directly, we could have won that. And I don't want to lose to another game like that, so... I'm gonna go med side this time. And hopefully we have no problem dealing with their med side. Maybe even getting into their spawn and clearing them out. That'd be even more ideal. Oh, interesting. Minotaro, yo. 114 SP2. Arcaro has spotted absolutely no one so far. So it looks like their whole team is over here. Excellent stuff. Now, someone spotted up Arcaro here from middle, I think. Probably the 30B or something. Or maybe an SDB. Could also be the SDB. I think what I'm gonna... Oh my, Arcaro got absolutely gamed on over here. Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, I should've shot AP. I can not HE pen the back of his turret there, though. It was just a bit uh, unfortunate on the timing there. All right, well, the 30B has got us all in crossfires now. So that's, that's just fantastic. Oh, dang it. It was such a well-aimed shot, too. E E50M, please don't YOLO in as well. Oh, he's definitely YOLOing in. E50M, you're going to have to chill back. You're going to have to chill back there. Buddy, do not overextend. You got to chill. I'll support you directly. But you got to chill, my dude. Absolutely got to chill here. Pull back. Pull don't pull in the straight ba in back in a straight line, my dude. Got to pull back safely. Oh, my gosh. I'm spotted. Dude, our E50M is throwing. Okay, one kill with Tungsten. That's important. That's that's huge. That's huge. Okay, so that's what spotted me up on this side. Just stay alive there, E50M. Nice, nice. W plays E50M. Then I'm still on reload. Might be time to start relocating. Good thing I went med site. Never mind. Our team's still losing this by a long shot. Yeah, this game's kind of a joke, ain't it? Oh my, of course. Yeah, of course I had his upper plate there. At least I have a 183 for cover fire, to some extent. Okay, who just hit me for 250 with high explosive there? 
Is that the Yag Tigar? Or someone else? Really? You're just gonna sit there spamming HE all game long, Yag Tiger? Oh my gosh, this game is just over, man. This game is just over. There's nothing I can do here. I just give up at this point. Yeah, I just give up. This team is pretty, pretty, pretty dying, dying terrible, man. 599? Oh my gosh. Caro and E50M, you silly players, you, man. And our poor Conqueror did not stand a chance over here. Yeah, I just cannot stand slow tanks, man. I cannot stand slow tanks. This is why, because there's like, there's nothing you can do when you're two, when you're two, two time mads, just YOLO and die, basically. <laughs> there's nothing you can do, especially, especially in SBMM. It's just not fun. This, I had the same thing with the Object 777, which is a really good tank, but I just don't like playing it in the current meta. Uh, the Yag's fine if you're in the right scenario, but like, when you have goofy players like this and this doing zero damage on your team and your E50 only hitting four shots and basically everyone on my everyone on that side of the map by the way Kiro 1A3 and E50M combined they only did 1200 they only did 1200 damage which was like basically an E50M shooting the Mets and that was it <laughs> no I lost and see that one coming I should have just sniped why do I bother trying to help my meds I should just accept the loss and take the easy farm like <laughs> Why do I even bother trying to help them? If, if they're going to be just yoloing like in the worst way possible, get themselves instant deleted. Their STB played that well. Their STB did play that well. Fanus, what's your favorite TD? 268. Has everything that I want in a TD. High alpha, decent DPM, surprisingly good gun handling, incredibly good mobility, enough gun depression. I think it's about six or seven. And troll enough armor where you get the ricochet here and there. That is is what a perfect tank destroyer is to me. Something that I can be really effective, I can flank in, I can rotate around as much as I want, and it just hits like crazy. If you guys have seen my 268 streams, you'll know why I love that tank so much. And it's one that I always perform really well in. Sometimes I'll have like four or 5k damage sessions in the Yag where it's just like you're farming heavies all day and it's fun. And then other times you just get games like that, these last few games where it's just over and over and over again. You just wish you were playing something that was faster instead of something that's so reliant on the enemy team being clustered and your team supporting you. But Yag's not bad. Like I said, it's just a little bit more situational than my liking. Unless you're choosing just to snipe in it every game, but that really does damage your chances of winning because you are 100% basically hoping that the enemy team mess up in order to win. Okay. We got a Yag. We got a 60 TP here. No one else spotted, so I'm gonna take it easy for the time being. I'm gonna wait till a few more tanks get spotted. I don't wanna overextend here just yet, so I'm gonna wait it out for just a moment. All right, there's one of the meds. There's the AMX 50B as well. Interesting. And I think we are good to go now. We know where everyone's hiding. All right, VK, do you wanna poke it? Wanna poke it out a little bit more, Mr. VK? Thank you for the 900 damage. See, and then like in a scenario like this, the act should hopefully do really, really well. Because I'm going to be perfectly situated to basically farm everything in this corner here. This VK-72 is not in the best spot either. He can't really pull backwards or forwards. I mean, he could try shooting me in the side. If I act like I'm not paying attention to him. Okay, he just fired there. Alright, side of the 60 seat. Oh, you know, let's pick up a kill real quick. It's probably more viable to my teammates right now. We'll just angle up to the 60 TP here. He's trying to aim for my hatch, I think. We'll just hatch. We'll just gun block him here a little bit. Alright, okay, okay, team. Seriously, you can, you can, you can take care of the... Um... Alright, Amorak, please. No! I was like, you guys can take care of the VK, right? Never mind, they can't. And bait him. And bait him. There's no point angling anymore. This is just a waste of time. All right. Well, we cooked up there. Kind of wish I didn't have to waste my max roll on the, the kill shot, but I want to make sure we killed him there pretty quickly. All right, Mr. Grandwagon. Off we go. Off we go. Pew pew. Also, the 268 HE is really nasty. It's like a thousand plus, I think. Or exactly a thousand. It still hits really hard. And then you factor in the 268 superior mobility on top of that, dude. Oh, that combo goes so hard. I don't want to 
do this, but it's better for the team if I do. Oh snap, that gorilla is trying to shoot at me now. I should have just taken the shot on the grill. Okay, I'll take that. GG. We got her winning. Let's go. And I, once again, only managed to farm out 3k because, uh, yeah, their heavies basically got deep fried. Deep fried heavy tank, my favorite. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can splash them. Yeah, that's the Yagana nutshell. It's a good tank. It's a good tank, but like, it's just too slow for me, personally. Just a little bit too slow. I I just don't like being so so dependent on how the enemy team plays there. I'd much rather like out of the tier 10 tank destroyer options, first place for me, without a doubt, it's the 268. This thing's the GOAT. Um, I would also say the WZ box TD is really good option too. Grill's okay. And uh, not a huge fan of the E3, but hmm. You know what? Let's let's let let's do a quick. What's let's let's end this off with a quick two six eight game. Yeah, that's about an hour and a half of Jaeger gameplay. And gonna be honest, I'm already kind of bored of it. So there we go. Let's just put the ammo equipment on. Let me let me show you my baby. Let me show you my baby. My my good old fashioned two six eight. My love. All right. Uh, I'll just put the default camo on because I'm too lazy for anything. Ooh, I need to get more gold on my first account. All right. Let it cook. Let me show you. My favorite tank destroyer, because I, I, um, not gonna lie, I got a little bit annoyed with the Yag for the last half hour of the stream, so. Next update, SBMM is gone, and I can't wait for it. <laughs> Should I have the gun fetish to make it work? Maybe. Okay, this was okay map for the Yag, but, like, let's, let's, let's experience bliss. This is, E4 is okay. I don't like the E4 very much anymore since it's APR, APCR standard. And APCR standard is just such a nasty nerf in my opinion. I'd rather take something with poor shell velocity and guarantee the high shell normalization that AP rounds have over something like the um, APCR ammunition type, which just, it's like, you'll look at a 60 TB frontally or even from above in an E4 and you are still to pen the upper plate because of the angling. But if you look at it with any other TD with the same pen that has AP rounds, you'll butter it. It's just really annoying. And so you have to rely on heat shells instead of the premium APCR, which is fine. So yeah, I've kind of fallen out of favor with the, with the, um, with the good old fashioned, uh, Ooh, nice. Get spotted. Negative. So, you see, good camo. Oh, I forgot to also mention the insane camo rating on the 268 as well. We get our first shot of the game, 600 damage in, and easily able to rotate back. This is something I could only dream of doing in a Yag Japan Zen, by the way. Uh, the Yo is just gonna chill here, kind of pre-aiming. This is the, this is gonna be way more up my alley of gameplay. Okay, the Yo is still chilling there, dude. Is our object just not going to do anything about him? No, our object's sitting in Narnia. Dude, object, go do something. You're going to let this Yo sit here all game long. Okay, he's just going to let the Yo sit there all game long. That's fine. Fine by me, buddy. Because I see myself a big old T30 here. Oof, 717. Lovely. Already able to pull back. Yeah, there's just something that's really addicting about the 268 playstyle right now. It's just all about its good mobility and its really, really, like, effective gun as well. Okay, well, that was a bit of an unlucky troll moment there, but not the end of the world. I will see that this T30 will probably die pretty soon once this E4 turns around for him, but let me see if I can get a quick shot into this T30 before that happens. I'll just AP it. 745, like, dude, the alpha and the ability to rotate around, you just can't beat it, man. You really just can't beat it. It has to be one of the, the best TDs in tier 10 at the moment, without a doubt. It's not even close. This thing just cooks. Okay, probably not the smartest idea to sit up here, but I will take a shot into the Yag. Okay, that was just um, a bit rushed on my part, but I don't want to sit up there for too long. Because the cro potential crossfires that we'll have to deal with here. What I will do is wait for our object to start pushing this Yo. He fired once. Good stuff. Make him a one shot for me, my dude. Thank you very much. We'll load up a quick heat shell here. Okay. Never compliment a gun, dude. Never compliment a gun. You're gonna get trolled by it. 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even load it up heat there just to guarantee the side shot, even though I didn't need it. But of course, it hits the underside of his turret there instead of what I was actually aiming for. Bro. Bro. The Object 268 gun does not usually troll me this hard. What is this? What is this garbage? Garbage RNG. 
Shaking my head, 268. That's not how it's supposed to be. Hmm. Looks like an Amarak option. Not quite, but hey, there we go. We're still cooking up okay, for the most part. There's still a decent amount of HP left, so that's good for me. I don't have to worry about there not being enough farm left late game. There should be plenty of farm for me late game here. Ooh, okay, late underplate. There we go. 709. Lovely. 3.4k damage already. And like, if I was in a Yag, sure, maybe this game would be okay because it's pretty stationary, but it'd just be a lot harder to pull up, hit these little rat shots and everything, and still shooting, shooting high explosive ammo at me for some unbeknownst reason. All right, take that. There we go. That's 4k damage down already. We're chilling. Right? And it's just, oh, I just love this tank. I, I cannot tell you how much I, I, I easily, 268 is in my top three favorite tier 10 tanks right now. And I'm not even making that up. It's just, it's play style is so good. It's all about positioning and knowing how to play with a mobile tank destroyer. It's not reliant on its armor at all anymore, which is a good thing because tanks that are overly reliant on their armor, I'm not a huge fan of. And the alpha, man, 690 alpha is just, mm. As you can see, it goes hard. It goes hard. We were able to get about 6,000 damage out of this game, by the way. Okay, that one was never going to go in, to be honest. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's finish this off. Finisher. <laughs> you see the difference? Do you see the difference in play styles? Yag's good. But it's just not fun to play, like, um, in a lot of scenarios. When you have it in the right scenario, it cooks. But when you take something like a 268, gotta do one more. When you take something like the 268, you get so much more liberty in the gameplay in determining where you want to place your tank and being able to rotate around and create a lot more opportunities. That's the reason why I just generally don't play slow tanks anymore at all. I, I, I still love the Yag. It's still it's pr precious to me, but... It was really good in peak IS-4 E100 meta. That's when the Yag was insane because everyone was playing heavy tanks and that was very ideal for the Yag. You just have to kind of sit back, wait for their heavy tanks to pile up somewhere and farm for days. Right now, the meta is a lot faster, I would say, so it can be a little bit more precarious. <laughs> at least that's my personal opinion. <laughs> well, look at that catching the end. <laughs> What's your opinion on the E3? I really enjoy it so much. I like bullying badgers with Pram every time. Uh, E3 for me, once again, E3 is a great tank, but same personal preference. I'm not a fan of slow tanks. And so E3 is kind of in the same field. Like it hits hard. It, it, it has a lot of armor, but my goodness, is that thing sluggish? Okay, like look at this game. They have a Kampfpanzer. Um, 777, 57. They have mostly heavies and a couple TDs. I'll probably go up towards the early spotting bush with this 140 here. We should very easily be able to win med side. If, even if they send their heavies here, I can just rotate out, right? If I was in a Yag, I probably never would even go to this position because I wouldn't have the mobility for it, for starters. Whereas right now, I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. I personally doubt their medium tanks are going to come this way. As you can see, it does not appear to be the case, so... Let's get ready to make our grand spotting adventure. Interesting, that's the 183's position, good to know. And let's pop up over here a little bit, doing some sneaky flanking action. And let's see, there's the version four as well. So we know the version four is positioning. All right, version four pulling back a little bit. I'll just take a shot. I'll probably hit one of them, W. I don't know if that comp funds are spotted me. It does not seem he has spotted me yet. So I'm gonna just remain still for the time being. All right, back up, back up again, version four. Back up again, buddy. I know you have it in you. All right, one more shot, blind. Very nice, the comp fencer is getting taken care of. No, looks like I barely missed my opportunity there. But yeah, I can just pull up and, and chill in this nice little crossfire position now. Thanks to this tank's rather saucy mobility. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I had a shot there the whole time and I didn't realize. I know the 183 is on reload for a little bit longer, but let me preempt this in case the 268 pushes in. Or TVP spots him up. Or maybe not. Okay, well, my team is kind of cooking. Loki, they are, they are hardcore cooking here. So, what do I got to do? Got to make a decision now. There we go. 700 damage there. Lovely. Get a nice little snapshot in. 23 just fired again. He's not having a good time, is he? Ooh. 
Oh yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Give me that ammo rack there. That'd be lovely. Ooh, 530 even with the reactive armor activated. Alrighty. So I'm safe for now here. This version 4 is trying to get safe here. Snap. Gun is doing its thing. It means business. Alrighty. And that's a BZ-75 I would love to deal with. Nice high explosive shell, perhaps? That would be quite saucy indeed. Although, maybe not. A CVP is not being the good, best division here. Rather not waste a max roll on this 1A3 here, but boys gotta do what a boys gotta do. I would guarantee that we do not get cleared. The game could still be throwable here. That's the only concern that I would have. All right. So now we've cleared out these dudes, we should be pretty straightforward from here on out. Firstly, hello, Mr. BZ. Okay, really? Just a track shot? What you gonna do now, laddie? What you gonna do with that subpar mobility of yours? Compared to the 26H Chad, a 15 kilometer an hour reverse speed, by the way. What is this BZ cooking? You know what? He's not cooking. He's cooking himself in a moment's time. No, I can totally afford to take another shot. Maybe to the side. I'm gonna go for an Amorak, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Get him! Okay. Well, slow game. I'll play another one. Uh, I'm just having a lot more fun in the 268. A bit of a slower battle there. I didn't want to overextend. If I hadn't gotten a little bit scammed on the first BZ shot, I think I would have had 4K there. Almost 4K. I would have had like 37, 30. No, I would have had 3,800 or uh, roughly 3,800 federal average. So, a bit unfortunate though, but I'll take it. We still got the dub. Where's La Bobby? She showed up earlier, but I think she's resting for now. Sweet little thing. Looks a little tired today. <laughs> I missed this game. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Please, no spam. Thank you. <laughs> are those destroyed enemy are those destroyed enemy tanks covered by their insurance? A uh, great question. Not my problem. <laughs> As it is just a Ash Hammer. That's why he doesn't like the E3 and Yag. Hey yo, get out of here. You are incorrect because Oh Keep up the good work. Oh my goodness! Sinister chill! Thank you very much. Sinister Chill with the $100 tip. Oh my goodness. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate the support there. Thank you. My goodness. Okay, I have to do good this game. Oh, look, there's still Amorak possibilities on the floor here, okay? 62 double 54s, okay? There are still possibilities for an Amorak here. Our first catch of the day. Never mind. Our first catch was a failure. Uh, he got off the hook this time. This time he got off the hook. Next time he will not. Okay, um... <laughs> well, they're being very aggro on med side. I guess I'll go join them. Alrighty, thank you very much once again, Sinister Chill. That was very kind of you. Okay, okay. What do we got here? Aha! Uh -huh. We have ourselves a... T-54. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a T-124 crossing up? Up, 615 to the engine deck. Let's just pull back safely. Oh, the revert. Dude, going down a hill, this thing goes 32 in reverse. That's actually crazy. You have to watch for that crossfire eventually. Got away from my camera to reset here a bit. It is a bit risky to keep poking this, all things considered. Okay, I don't think I've spotted actually. The 26. Uh, that's another underrated part about the 268 is it's absolutely insane camouflage rating. Uh, that's just unfortunate, ain't it? I'm, I'm super worried about our flank here. Our whole team is in a ditch, by the way. Our whole team is in a ditch. If, 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 you would, if you did not know, everyone's sitting in a ditch here. Everyone. Oh, interesting. So they're 268s back there. Did not know that. So they could still have a Kronwagen floating somewhere. Which is a valid concern. Uh, but for now, at least I know where the 268 is. Well, this is not going to be a very fun game for me. I thought I had a lot of potential. I didn't think both teams were just going to full send ditch. The Kron's probably on the flank somewhere. Oh yeah, he definitely is. Hello, Mr. Kronwagen. Yes, that's right. Get distracted. You don't see me at all. Yes, 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 yes. Become, become one with the distraction, Mr. Kron. 650. Oh, no. 560. Low roll galore. 
me. Well, we win this game by a long shot. We long, long have ever won this game. Okay. He will never see this coming. Never mind, he saw it coming. I take it back. Hi, Kran. Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. I, I, I really didn't mean to push up on you like this, because, uh... I've low rolled every shot. I don't think I've rolled over 650 yet so far this game. Hi, right, bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> also, Amorak possibility here. Let's go. No! No rack. Oh, I wanted my rack. Oh, I wanted my rack. Hello. Hello, Mr. Kranwagen. Hello. How are you? Please, Mr. Kran. Please, I beg of you. Do not bother with my tank. I am of no threat to you. A Yag could never. A Yag could never, never, uh, just, just debate a crowd like that around the corners and everything. Well, uh, well, okay. Come on, man. God, this, this game was just, this game was just silly. This game was just way too silly. I couldn't even cook really too much in the 268, unfortunately. We gotta try again. We, got, we gotta try again. We're only up an hour and 30 minutes. I still got time. Yeah. Hey, Button, how do you do? Baus? The fact that this thing max rolls for like 800 now is insane. 836 if I am not mistaken. 837, dude, their team is diabolical. I feel so bad, dude. Their, their team did not stand a chance. Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to turn Supremacy on because I don't mind Supremacy in the 268 as much. I can actually deal with caps a little bit. <coughs> Anyone else always hear the potato man say, Kranvaga? Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm confused. Can't, you can't cook. I can't cook, Curious. <laughs> Can you do 205 Stream next? I'm actually going to be doing Progetto 65 next, unless Wargaming release a very interesting tank tomorrow. I don't know if they will, to be honest. I haven't... I have no clue what tanks are coming um, soon. But if there is a new tank tomorrow, or a new tank out of the store that people are really interested, then I'll probably stream that. Otherwise, we'll we'll focus on the Progetto. Uh, the 205 is definitely going to be on the agenda at some point. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. 268. We gotta get you one more good cook game in. One, two, one. Bachatillon. Bad spawn to play heavy side, which means I'm probably gonna have to play med side, which means I'm gonna be playing way too aggressive on this end and will probably end up getting myself wrecked as per usual. We'll see. We'll see. I might be able to cook over here. I don't know. Bat chat view range kind of goes hard. One, two, one. Um, do you mind, Mr. Grill? Dude. There's no way people are actually this bad at driving. Well, let me just back up in front of my ally. Well, I lost all my momentum. I'm not going to cross the bridge now. Like, going to back up all in front of them. Then I'm just going to, like, drive forward again and turn around, turn right in front of him as well. So he can't, like, move at all. I wanted to get to my early positioning. Fortunately, I don't believe their team came this way. So I don't have to worry about that so much. Which means we can cook down on the ramps. I'm going to use this thing's solid mobility to start flanking the pl- Eh? Eh? Oh, of course, I get scams, of course. Of course. He doesn't even aim that. He's sitting in the most ridiculous open position ever. His meds aren't even here to spot for him, too. And Buddy gets saved by the RNGs. Because why not? Okay, what is the 60 TP doing? Dude, what are... I don't even know what's happening in this game. These players make zero sense to me. I thought we were be able to just push through here for free, but dude, they have a 60. This is why I keep supremacy off, dude. It's because of supremacy. That's why they have a 60 TP and 268 driving towards A by themselves. The meds yelling around the back, and it's like, bruh. You can't predict how silly these players are. The moment a supremacy cap point is involved, it's crazy. All right, going. All right, 670 damage for the start. That's a good start at least. From what the heck even is this? So you're telling me they also have... They also have a 57 sitting in the back of spawn. Ah, uh, no, no, I give up, dude. I give up. These players are unreal. These players are actually unreal. Come on, 60 TP, push it. I know you have it in you. Go for it, dude. Get into 57 both. Come on. <laughs> Why do they just have two heavy sitting in Narnia? I need to know. Come on, 60 TP, you're getting shot at. Going. Good stuff. Good stuff, Grill. Good stuff. Nice crossfire by my allies there. And one can only hope... Here's what I'll actually do. Is I out-reload the 60 TP here. Okay, you know what? I'll just have to pick up a clear on this dude. Yo, I low-rolled anyways. Now I got a 1 to 1 B problem here anyways, so... Let's just hope we, we manage to debate this dude a little bit here. 
We have so much abated him, but we're probably still dead. But hey, I can pick up a clay on this tank at least here. And we're good. Well, this is also a silly game, dude. What on earth did I just witness? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this? What are these NPCs? I can't even have fun of my T6-8 because they have a T-57 and a 60TP hiding behind a cap. 121B decides to yell all the way in for me. The T6-8 is just sitting in the open in the middle of the map, which our Batcha apparently did not spot. Like, oh my. Someone please help. Please help me. Stream is about Yag fatness. Yes, Machine 369. But as I said earlier, I already played the Yag for like an hour and a half and wanted to have some fun in the 268. <laughs> NAT superpower is being so stupid, they're unpredictable. Bro, like what? Like what? I'm, I'm still having way more fun in the 268 right now, though, than the Yag. Way more. At least I'm able to flex around a lot. Like. <laughs> Supremacy for when you don't have the skill to fight? I don't know. Like, technically, supremacy should be logical because you know three lo three to four locations where the enemy team is going to be at. Uh, but sometimes they're just so, like, unorthodox in where they decide to go for caps that it just throws their whole game off. Okay, I'm going to go clear med side, maybe. 62 a mm, Maybe not. Maybe not. 62 a is not even going to support me, is he? Great. Fantastic. Let's just take a blind shot and get out of here. So, my team are not going to go med side or heavy side, apparently. Lovely. Don't usually play this position, but maybe we can get someone rotating out real quick. Love you. Nice. 700 damage into this laddie here. I also have a Yag for support, so I'm not as concerned as I should be. Mr. Yag and 62A, would you like to come provide me that assistance? Amrak, maybe? Oh, yeah, let's go. 733. It's not a 7's pretty um, tunnel visioned, which is not going to go too well for him. Oh, my. He just got Jaeger root. All right, let's go for that 422, boys. We're, we're going to make this a fast one. We're going to clear out this 422 while he's making his break for it after getting off the cap here. He's going to go right side, I think. Indeed, he is going right side. Hello, Mr. Fortuoto. No! Scammed! Scamiosud. I'm gonna go get the cap, though. Like, do you see how they're mentioned as y'all around trying to grab all the caps? It's so silly, but I mean, like, I understand why. But they did have a medium advantage. I'm surprised they didn't both just pressure A right off the bat here. Okay, that was just a scam. That was an actual scam there. Alright, let's see what I can do now, because I am in a good position to rotate in on these dudes, so. Firstly, I still wanted to get one Amorak this stream in, but apparently my luck with Amoraks today is just zero. I've hit so many tanks with, like, max rolls, but the max roll crew, per uh, crew perk didn't activate and everything. It was just like, bruh. Alright, come here, my lovely and my lovely little Jaeger. Oh, 62A, please. Excuse me. Thank you. We also have a potential problem pulling on up behind us, which I'm not so concerned about. Hello, E3. Don't worry about me. I promise you, I am not a, I am not a foe. I am a friend. Ooh, what do we got here? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Bop. <laughs> We're gonna go. I'm just gonna dance up here for a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a silly M4. Psych! No more damage for you. Alright. Well, this dude's dead. So, cease. Cease your your activities, wild uh, MXM4. Hello. No. Really? The 60 TP has worse gun handling than me. What is this nonsense? That was kind of a fun game, though. <laughs> uh, I just like that one card where you call up to go vibe with. Actually, no. Let me tell you. Hmm, kind of want to play another one. I'm just having fun in the 268. Like, I, I sometimes I just need to unwind and play something that's fun. <sighs> after, <laughs> after like an hour and a half of playing the slow, slow old Jaegeru. But they're looking at the time, I should probably call quits soon. Um, no, I'd actually be the worst person to call up. I actually, I have some friends at school and they were just like, you never hung out with us, like ever. You'll, you'll, you'll never hang out with us, like, you're, Whenever I ask, they're always like, ah, sorry, I'm studying. I got stuff to do. Basically, that was me at college. 
<laughs> you told the E3 you were a friend and you gun took the, <laughs> took that to heart. Apparently. This is why 640 Alpha 2 say will always be better. Never miss those three shots. Eh. Debatable. Debatable. I might be... To be fair, Dragon, I think I might be running the wrong equipment loadout on this tank versus what I usually run on it. That could also be why I'm not quite um, hitting the shots like I'm used to. It's not that it's just RNG based. I actually... To be fair, old 26, the old school, old school 268 probably was a little bit better, but I still really enjoy this version of the 268. I still think it's very, very good here. Alrighty. Might take a shot from the yo. Oh no! 268 space side armor goes burr. See how many like how many TDs can you just straight up send it like this and like kinda low-key get away with it? I'm gonna harbor not many. That's my guess. Oh, there's the Sheridan as well. I gotta be careful here because the unspotted TD is potentially being a problemo. Mm -hmm. Sheridan going for a crazy spotting run. Type 68 pulling up to the safety bush, safety bush here. Or is he gonna try and cross all the way? If he tries crossing all the way, it's over for our man's here. Aim. Can I HE that? No, I can't. Oh, gosh. Alright, that's almost 1500 damage with just two AP shells there because, you know, high rolls go burr. Well, 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 what do we have here if it isn't a wild object 704? Come on, buddy, you gotta move. You can't stay there all game, dude. You cannot stay there all game. There we go. 679 damage. Nice. Solid stuff. I don't know what their team's doing, to be honest, right now. They're just, like, yellowing everywhere they can go. Even if it's not smart, they're all just yellowing. Mm, no, poke up again, Sheridan. No, Sheridan. You're no fan. Not that it matters, your whole team is getting toasted. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the, their, their whole team is just over for them. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. You gonna pull out a little bit? No, he's not. Let me think about this. I got one YOLO the Sheridan. Alright, max roll? Wow. Man, I sometimes feel like I don't even have the max roll crew perk on anymore. Have I max rolled a single, like, shot this this entire stream i'm starting to feel like i haven't low key hello oh come on that's a scam scammy yo said massively scammy yo said my team is gonna win this no problem here so i'm gonna send out the yo to try and get one more shot in on him <laughs> oh my goodness that, I should've just shot AP. That is farming nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. We like we like farming in the 268. Okay. 36. Yeah, it's okay. I've been easily been able to pull 4k sessions out of the 268 recently, but if it goes for tank destroyers, 268's my number one pick. 100%. Uh, I'll have to check what my main account what my equipment loadout is. It might be a little bit incorrect there. Hmm. <laughs> Dang, it sucks I'm kind of in the mood to play. Maybe because I didn't stream yesterday. I'm just in a, a bit more of a mood to play right now. Not heavies. And oh, let's see. What is there anything good in store right now? Nope. 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 Absolutely not. Okay. Well then. Ah, classic. Classic. One game in Leo. One game in Leo. I, I, I'm way too much in the mood to play right now. I don't know why. I haven't really played too many pubs recently. Except for like streams and I didn't stream yesterday. But I'll probably call quits after this. My uh, my objective is not to break two hours of streaming. So this can be like the last game I can have within the time frame that I've been streaming for. <laughs> the blessing of... Uh, <laughs> his worn off a little. <laughs> Feels bad, man. So you say gun trolled me quite a bit. Annoyed me a bit. I mean, is it more troll than a Yags gun? To be fair, like, let's be honest. The Yags gun is not really that much more accurate, except the tank is just re really slow, so you can't even move around as much. I feel the T68 gun feels a little more troll sometimes because you're moving around a lot more. Like, I'm not just sitting back and being pretty aggressive with my peaks and snapshots and stuff. So, yeah, of course I'm going to get trolled. If I was, like, purely sniping in the back, I might have been okay. Alrighty, let's see. What do we got here? Wild STB1 for starters. Okay. It's fine by me, brother. Let's let's see let's see how that goes for you. All right, one hat shot into you. Yeah 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 yeah. Keep 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 pulling on up. Keep pulling on up. Let's see how that goes for you. Track shot. Nice. Retract him, please. Retract him, please. That's not retracting him, Progetto. 
Rosetto, that's not retracting him. Thank you. There we go. See, that's that's how you do things, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's that's a little bit aggressive of you there, sir. Oh, that was hurt. That's, uh, that's just, uh, just a wee bit aggressive of you. Name for that drive wheel. Ah, yes. I love me a Leo 1 gun. It handles so nicely. What do I got for support? E3 and grills rotating back. W. A prog did get nuked, unfortunately. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just try one, two, one. Just try and see how it goes. Yeah, good stuff, dude. Now you're Gonzo. Hello, WZTD. I welcome you to the Leo DPM experience. It is very fun, I promise you. You will you will not be at all... Uh, do you mind, E3? You know you don't have to drive in a straight... Oh my goodness. Of course he thumps that shot too. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Nice, he fired. They still have a tank, I think, of Narnia, but we can start pressuring this a little bit more here. Bop. Look, like it's a whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm so sorry, E6. Pretend you, please, please just pretend you didn't see me. Thank you. Very kind of you. All right, one hat shot into this E6 here. Here's where the haul down, absolute nightmare for this E6 to deal with is a haul down Leo that has hat shots. Yeah, that's a nightmare material right there. A wild Leo one is like, nice hatches, buddy. Oh, I love the Leo so much. I love this tank so much. How many tanks have guns that just work this consistently? I need to know. Answer, not many. Yep, buddy Stedge. 4,300 damage out of the way. Alrighty. And hello there, good XM, my dear. I have come to be a little bit of, of an issue for you to deal with. Wow, you have a very easy day. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't even waste your time trying to turn all the way around here, buddy. Wasting your time. You're wasting your time on this. Perfect. We leave it there. One solid Leo game. I'm happy. Ah, this is why I just like, I just, ugh, accurate guns, good mobility. All I ask for, good gun, good mobility. I'm happy. 268 mostly meets the criteria. Accuracy can be a bit derpy. Otherwise, I love the 268. Uh, Leo really doesn't have any cons in my eyes. It is the most beautiful tank in the game. Yeah, easy 5k. <laughs> easy help control. Uh, oh, Fanis, you are done with college this year for your degree? Yes, yes, yes. Fanis, what song are you playing in the background? So I'm not sure what song was playing when you asked that question. However, at the start, you can go back in the stream time and you will see right underneath the rain girl when a new song starts playing there's a little widget that pops up that tells you the name of the song all of the music's by harris heller stream beats but you'll see the name of the song pop up down there so if you want to find the name of a song that was playing a moment ago just scroll back through the stream and you can find the name down there right right on the screen itself <laughs> that ruined that takes date yes yes indeed indeed i uh i love the leo so to next stream probably we're gonna whip out the good old fashioned Progetto. I really like the Progetto, so I'm quite looking forward to it. It's a fantastic tank in my opinion. And it was almost requested more than the YAG yesterday, uh, day before yesterday when I did the last poll. So Progetto is gonna be next on the agenda, hopefully, assuming no new tanks are released. Uh, but yeah, as far as the YAG is concerned, it is a very silly tank. It hits hard with the tungsten, and then sometimes it just doesn't hit hard at all, like 600 rolls and stuff, especially on kill shots. I swear on kill shots, it's very bad that um great you know for the most part the jag is a fantastic tank i don't really have any significant issues with it i think it's balanced pretty well at the moment the tungsten is a bit interesting of a decision uh probably it's my main gripe with it would just be its mobility and that's just something the tank can help there's no way a yak's going 40 50 kilometers an hour or something like that 45 kilometers an hour like that would just be busted so understandably so i do still enjoy the tank I, I just have to be in the right mood to play it. And sometimes I'm not always in the mood to play it. Sometimes I'll get really good games. Like, oh yeah, let, before I leave, let me No, okay, not this game. Let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something real quick. This was the, this was the funny, haha, funny game I had before I started the stream. Um, let, let me show you. This, this this game was memes. Real quick, real quick. Before we hop off, this this is what the Yag's capable of when you like catch players out in the right snare. So here, I'm not actually too confident because you look at the mini map. We have these two dudes here and then... Like, every one of my team is kind of just in the back of spawn. So it's just me and these two meds. Our Sheridan already got nuked. The 62A is finally coming, but like, you know, you can see these three dudes are just in Narnia. So I decide, you know what? I'm not going to even let myself get pressure that way. I'll have cover fire from them in mid, so I'm just going to pressure the left side of the 50B. So that's exactly what, exactly what our boy's going to do here. We're going to clear the 50B. 
Just gonna show you the funny parts of this replay. Uh, I get a little concerned about the yo, but fortunately, I think our 62A yellowed him. Oh no, our Leo like counter yellows him a little bit. And a wild T30 pops up, and I'm like, hmm. Poor T30 is basically a two shot. So what I do here is I didn't want to waste my tungsten on the kill for the T30, who at this point would have a longer reload than me. So of course I do the most logical thing. I give him a little love tap, bop, and then pick up his tank. Easy as pie. Now I have my tungsten reserved for a more important shot, but, but, the one time my Maxwell crew perk does work is when I decide not to use my tungsten in case I max rolled, it would be a waste. So, um, yeah, yeah, 1500 into this poor fool. He's, he, he's not vibing very much. Uh, this Amex 30 is backing up. However, I notice a second opportunity before me and I'm like, hmm, well, but don't, don't mind if I do. 30 proto tracks me and I'm like, I, I'll ignore the 30 proto for a moment. Boy's got more important issues to deal with. Yeah, 1300. At that point, I'm already at 5k damage, like four or five shots into the game. Uh, and then I could just turn around. I'm like, ooh, I still see, I still have seven seconds on the tungsten. This is why I generally do prefer to run the equipment. That increases its duration. Oh, actually it expired the moment I fired. Unlucky. Still got 5,000 other damage in and basically it's just me clearing out these dudes. Pick up a kill on this dude, pull forward, clear this dude, pull forward, clear out that dude. Yeah, it's just 7,000 damage game. Funny stuff. Uh, that's what the Axe capable of in a slower paced game where the whole enemy team is kind of near you, right? That, that's what you're going to want. That's where it's going to cook and it's going to be a lot of fun, especially when you have some silly players that aren't paying attention and you manage to actually pull a weird little flank out. Um, and then, yeah, I still do play the Yag like every here and there. So that's a good tank. But, uh, as far as like TDs that I love playing right now, 268 will probably still take the cake. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you very much everyone for dropping by. Great having you here today. Do appreciate the support and, uh, Sinister Chill, my goodness, thank you for the massive tip as well as the donations from Agent. Do you appreciate that? Mods dropping by, everyone being active in chat. Great having ya here today. Ooh. Now I'm gonna go have dinner. Hooray, hurrah. <laughs> so you guys take care. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you my, maybe tomorrow or Saturday, but probably tomorrow, definitely by Saturday.